Hello again. Today we are going to be condensing logarithmic expressions. Over here, we have our properties of logarithms to help us remember the product property, the quotient property, and the power property, which are all going to help us to condense these logarithmic expressions. So first off, I want to make sure that we all see that each of these terms has the same base, okay? They all have a base of five. So that means that we can condense these, okay? So first off, I see that I have log base five of two plus log base five of X. And this right away, I see that modeled in the product property. So this is the product property. So what I can do is I can rewrite this as log base five of two X. Now I'll bring down my minus log base five of three. So these both have a base five, which is great. Now notice this is a subtraction problem. Well, that's modeled right here in the quotient property. So I can rewrite this as log base five of two X over three. And that's our final answer. That's how you condense this logarithmic expression. So here I have log base seven of three plus log base seven of five. Well, this is modeled right here in the product property. So that means I can rewrite this as log base seven of three times five. Well, I know three times five and that's 15. So I can simplify that and rewrite this as log base seven of 15. So here I have log base three of eight minus log base three of two. Well, that is modeled right here in the quotient property. So I can rewrite that as log base three of eight over two. Well, I know eight over two is four. So I can rewrite this as log base three of four. And that's our final answer. Okay, so here I have four times log three minus log nine. You'll notice there are no bases here. So we know that the base is 10. But for the purpose of condensing this, we don't even necessarily need to know that. Just know that there is a base 10 there. But what I do need to do is I need to condense four log three. Well, you'll notice that if there's a number out front here, that is modeled in the power property. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite this as log three to the fourth power minus log nine. Well, I know that I can simplify three to the fourth power, which is three times three times three times three. So that'll be 81. So this is log 81 minus log nine. Well, this here, is modeled in the quotient property right here. So that means I can turn this into a division problem. So this becomes log 81 over nine. Well, I know 81 divided by nine, that's nine. So this will be log nine. And that's the final answer. So here I have three log base two of X minus four log base two of three. Well, I'm gonna simplify this one here and condense it. And since there's the number out front, that means that is the power property. So I will turn this into log base two of X to the third. Notice I took that three and I made it the exponent here. Now I can do the same thing here. So this will be minus log base two of three raised to the fourth power. All right, next thing I can do is I can simplify my three to the fourth power. And we know that three to the fourth power is 81. So now I have log base two of X to the third minus log base two of 81. Well, 
if I want to condense this, I notice that this is subtraction in the center here. So I see that that is the quotient property. So that means it's going to be a, div a division problem. So I have log base 2 of x to the third over 81. And that's our final answer. And that's how you condense these logarithmic expressions.